G'day guys and welcome to another AFT video clip. Today I'm going to show you how to make a potty mullet trap out of a 5 litre bottle. It's that simple, it will save you so much money and it will last you pretty much a lifetime. Now if you follow these simple steps, you will make yourself a great trap and you will get yourself live bait every time you go out to catch some potty mullet. Flathead, mullet weight, you name it, anything. So all it takes is a 5 litre bottle, a drill, a drill set, nice line, a few sinkers and a knife and we will create a potty mullet trap that's worth less than $10. I kid you not. Let's start. Okay, so what you'll notice on this bottle is that with a black marker pen, I've marked dots. And I've marked the cross, and I've done that throughout the whole bottle, as you can see right here. Yeah? Now you might be asking, well, why have I done that? Well, I'll explain it to you why. I'm going to drill holes exactly where these holes are, and I'm going to cut here where the X is. So from this dot here to that dot, it's roughly 60 mil, and 60 mil up that way as well. So vertically, Vertically and horizontally, it's 60 mil. And that's how big the opening should be for legally catching potty mullet. And once I've drilled all the holes and I've cut with my Stanley knife across, that's all I need to do, cut across, or an X, however you want to call it. We'll fold the sides, which I'll show you later on once I've done. And once all these holes are drilled, when you put the trap in the water, what happens is that there's so much air in the bottle and as you submerge it inside the water to the bottom if you've got enough holes on the bottle all those air bubbles will start coming out and the actual trap will start to sink you don't want it to float like that you want it to sit on the bottom just like that and i've got another little tip as well what i'll also add inside and that's star sinkers these nice bad boys right here. And I'll show you how I tie it to my trap to keep it submerged. And I'll also show you where I keep it as well. Because for this trap to work, you need it to sit on the bottom without minimum movement and get all the air out of the actual trap. And that's how you'll succeed in catching potty mullet this way. So I'll start drilling the holes. I'll do a cut. I'll put the sinkers in, tie them in, show you how you do it and then you've got yourself a perfect potty mullet trap. Okay, so as you can see, I've drilled so much holes on this bottle. And you might be asking yourself, why do that? Well, when I submerge this trap in the water, all the air that's trapped in it is going to be released. And that's going to keep my trap down on the bottom very firmly. And therefore, I'm going to catch mullet. It's not going to move around if a boat goes by. It's not going to float back up onto the surface. It is literally going to stay down. But there is one thing that is missing, and I will show you what you need to put in there. And that's sinkers. Now with the opening, now the opening I've roughly measured 60 mil, you know, vertically and horizontally. And all I did was cut across, or an X, however you want to call it. And all I do is I just fold the sides like that. As much as I can. See what I'm doing? 
back on it. This side won't mess. Anyways, it will. There we go. There. So there I have my opening. Now, the bread's going to hang around this section or that section here. So when the mullet come along, they will start to swim above the trap. And you'll notice that as soon as one swims into the trap, the others start to follow soon. And see these flaps here? That prevents the mullet from actually coming back out. Now, there is a few lucky ones that jump out and all that, but there is a lot more in here. Trust me, there is. This trap really works. Um, if you checked my, checked my videos before, you'll see how much mullet I've caught. And all the soggy bread that's in the trap, with all the movement and commotion inside, bits of bread's going to come out of these holes all around the trap. And that's going to start to attract a lot more potty mullet. And therefore, you're going to get a feeding frenzy hanging around right up above your trap. I'll just wait for this car to go by. Okay, and you'll get all this potty mullet right above your trap. And what they'll try to do is they'll try to get to the bread and then one, two, three, four, you name it, you can catch, I don't, I don't want to say the number of it, but you'll catch an astronomical amount of potty mullet on a really good day. This trap really has worked for me over the years. Now, when it comes to keeping it submerged into the water or to the bottom, I use these two star sinkers. Now you can either tie them. I would tie them using 40 pound, um, 40 pound line, mono line. Um, it could be any type of line. That's that's not a problem. But sometimes I just like them freely loose inside at the back like that. You can use rocks, but I find that these sinkers, just the way they are, it will sink down to the bottom. It will not float back up like that. If you do see your trap. Floating like that, it means that you've got your sinkers in the one section and therefore it's going to lift it up. But, you know, fiddling around with your sinkers like that inside, you know, putting it into the water, it's going to be down along the bottom and then you've got your float floating, uh, your bread floating around here and here and then if the mullet are around, they'll see it, they'll come in and then whoosh, go, you got yourself a good limit of potty mullet which you can take with you and use to catch uh, flathead, mulloway, brim, you name it, anything that loves eating them. So this is how I make my potty mullet traps. And remember, one trap per person. Don't use two, don't use three. It's one trap per person. And this is a perfect size, enough for you to catch the live bait that you need. You don't need to spend over a hundred bucks on those glass potty mullet traps. Like it's just a waste of money. Go out there, buy yourself a five litre water bottle at least. Okay, here I've got a five litre uh, oil, uh, cooking oil bottle, but that's fine. I'm going to wash it, I'm going to clean it and dry it, and it's still going to be good. But it's cost me no more than 10 bucks. And it does the same job, if not better. Um, it lasts a lot longer. Um, I've caught so much more fish. And um, yeah, just look at the open. They'll come inside and they won't come back out, and all that commotion. The other potty mullet will be like, okay, let's go and rescue our friend. And they'll come inside and then there you go. you got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 potty mullet like that. And um, it's just awesome. It's just a great little do-it-yourself project. Get the kids involved and then try it out yourself at your local estuary. And you'll be surprised how much you'll, uh, you'll catch um, with this trap. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short little video clip on how to make your own potty mullet trap at home. I'm telling you, this will work a treat and you'll absolutely love this. You can keep it forever. Pretty much it will outlive you if you were to make a trap like this. It won't break, just be careful. If you're going to lift it out of the water with all the potty mullet and the weight, don't lift it where the opening is. Lift it on the sides like that. And the beauty is, if you want all the water to come out, you just undo the the lid and then all the water will start coming out and there you have it you've got yourself a perfect trap that's easy to maintain easy to look after I mean, it's not expensive you don't need to spend over a hundred bucks on a trap to catch potty mullet
Works a trick that's worked for me for many years, and that's why I want to share it to you guys and how you can successfully catch pony dog. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment below, more than happy to help you out. Till next time guys, happy fishing.